We develop train robots, we develop robot hanging hanging from cranes. Mm -hmm. So we can we're gonna show you all these different things and how we kind of develop new robots for different situations. Uh, so we'll see a lot of wheeled robots that have arms on top. We'll have a lot of, we'll see a train robot that has an arm coming down from it that can do different uh, things for safety. And we'll also see uh, a crane robot that can do things from above. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll see everything we I'm Chris McGreevy, I'm a robotics engineer here at CERN. And at CERN we develop robotic solutions to monitor and intervene in uh, different parts of CERN's uh, infrastructure. So this is Tim, our train inspection monorail. So in the LHC, we have these rails. We have these rails that go throughout the LHC. And these rails we use to um, uh, house these robots. The reason we do this is A, because we have the infrastructure to do this, like the, the, the rails are there, so we, so we make use of them. And the, the, other, the other reason we use, uh, use these is because if we're on a rail, we don't have to think about things that are on the ground that might impede our movement. This is the SPS bot. Uh, this is very similar to the CERN bot we saw earlier. Uh, and the reason uh, it's, it's this shape and size is like we have the modular architecture, so the base is very similar to the one you, the bigger one you saw earlier, and the wheels are essentially a scaled down version. But the reason for this is this one has a specific size is because in the SPS, one of our accelerators, we have these, we have gates. So now we're going to go see some of our other robots, including the crane bot, which is a robot we can attach to cranes to uh, manipulate and make, um, to intervene with things from above. And also our um, inspection robot that can inspect uh, new devices internally to see if they meet our specifications before being put into the LHC. Hello, I am uh, Michele Vagnale. I work here uh, as a trainee at the uh, Mechatronic Robotics and Operations section at CERN. And um, I will show you the robot that uh, I'm working on in my uh, trainee project, basically. Uh, this robot is used in um, CERN facilities to uh, um, reach areas that are not uh, easily, be easily reachable by human personnel, because as you can see, uh, the name of the robot, which is called the Crimbot, um, basically is telling us that this robot is meant to be suspended by some over overhead crane. Uh, at CERN, we have some facilities that are um, re radioactive, and so they can be really dangerous for uh, human personnel. And uh, like this is uh, the reason that we use robots uh, at CERN. So recently at CERN we've started to look into different types of mobility for our robots. So wheeled robots and tractor robots aren't necessarily the best thing for every circumstance. We have places where we have steps and big gaps and difficult flooring, uh, which the wheels can't handle. So instead we're looking at four-legged robots uh, as, a, as, a way to, as a way to get around in these environments. So this is a commercial, commercially available robot. This is our first-legged uh, robot at CERN. We're developing our own quadruped robots that can go in specific areas that we need them to, to climb steps uh, that will need to be bigger than this and more resistant to magnetic fields.